This video explains what to do when you have a citation within the material you are quoting from, both in the text and in your works cited list, according to the 7th edition of the MLA Handbook. For more about citing sources in your text, check out our video, Citing Sources in MLA Style, A Basic Introduction. This is an excerpt from an article by David Hillman. What if you would like to include this quotation in your paper? The author has cited another source for this information, Michael Neal. Who do you cite in your paper and in your work cited list? Hillman or Neal, or both? When possible, MLA recommends locating the original source. In this case, it would be Neal's book. It's always best to use the primary source if possible. But here's what you can do if you're not able to locate the original source. Refer to Neal in your text as he is really the person you are quoting. In parentheses, use the abbreviation QTD period, which means quoted in. And then cite Hillman and the page number in Hillman's article where this quotation occurs, because Hillman is the article that you actually read. Next, let's look at who you cite in your works cited list at the end of your paper. That's easy. In your work cited list, you only need to cite the article you actually read, in this case, Hillman. Thanks for watching. For more information on MLA, watch our other videos, or visit the Mund Library's webpage to check out our MLA style guide or chat live with library staff.